Hey guys, um, well, this is a continuation of the previous videos, what we have done. Um, so just a recap, what exactly we have done in the last videos, okay? Um, and especially in the last video, uh, what we have done is, so the first one is we created uh, three users and uh, and uh, I provided, uh, you know, uh, EC2 uh, full access permission to one user, and then I've asked you, I've asked you guys to, you know, play around, play around with it, and verify it. Okay. Now in this video, um, say for example. <clears throat> So Srinivas, Sham and Sagar is there. So what we did was, uh, there is a policy. So this is a policy here. Okay. So this is a EC2 policy. Okay. So EC2 policy. EC2 full access policy. So this is a EC2 full access policy. So what I did in the last video was, I added this particular this particular policy with sham okay so since i've added this i can open the ec2 services okay so if i add this if i add this ec2 full access policy into sagar and also to srinivas then they will also be able to access EC2. So that is a concept. So if you want to access something, then he needs to have a respective policies attached to the particular users. Now, so I mean, if I have 100 users, I mean, it's not, it's not easy to go ahead and, you know, uh, create or attach the policies for each and every user. That is not possible. So for that, what we have to include is, we are going to uh, let me draw this diagram again so we have a concept of groups okay we have to group the users based on the uh, you know department so say for example <clears throat> um, let me do this way okay so this is again Srinivas and uh, Sham so let me see who and all I Sham and this is Sagar, I believe, right? Okay. So here, if you see this, yeah, Srinivas, Sham, and Sagar. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just type in the name real quick, Srinivas. Sham. And then Sagar. Okay, perfect. Now now uh, this is a EC2 service we have a EC2 service here so this is the EC2 service okay so this we call it as an EC2 EC2 now what rather giving permission okay this is a policies we have okay so here So this is the policies okay one minute so this is the policies okay so here this is the uh, for example I would say this is the EC2 policy okay so EC2 policy okay perfect so we have users we have which service we want access we have policy now uh, the new thing which I'm going to introduce is groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all these three guys into one uh, group. Okay, so group is like this. Say for example, I'm going to make one group called. This is a group. So I'm going to name this group as, uh, you know, for example, dev group or developer, whatever group. Okay, so I'm going to make it as a developer group okay in this de inside this developer group i'm gonna put all these three guys inside that okay so <clears throat> how i'm gonna do it here 
so I will put all these three guys okay into the developer group and I'm gonna give this EC2 policy access to this developer group so whoever is there in the developer group they can access to EC2 okay this is the um, uh, not this is the in, in a nutshell this is what I'm gonna do okay so uh, let me repeat it again I'm gonna create one group okay so let me type it here so here we go so the first thing is first thing is create a new group called uh, developer developers something like that and second one is add Srinivas Srinivas Sham and who else Sagar into the developers group then add the EC2 permission policy into the developers group directly okay this is the steps which we're gonna do right now so how can you do that let's try that uh, okay I am into the root uh, account so I'm gonna close this so let me go to the Google Chrome okay I'm in the Samir admin uh, for users okay cool now I'm gonna click on uh, I am hit I am perfect so you have click on users so I already have Sagar, Sham and Srinivas and if I remember in the last video I think I exclusively given some permission to someone I don't remember let me see I think I've given for uh, Sagar maybe just give me a minute okay so I'm gonna remove this permission okay detach it okay cool now uh, one minute okay so i'm clicking on users and um, i have three users um sagar sham and Srinivas. and um, i'm hitting on sagar i don't have any permissions added okay and i'm hitting on sham i don't have any permissions added and then i'm hitting on Srinivas. And I don't have any permissions added here. So now what I'm going to do is all these con I mean consider all these guys are from the development team. So what I would do is I'm hitting on group user groups on the left side. I'm hitting on create group and then I will create developers. Okay. And here I'm gonna add Sagar, Sham, and Srinivas. So once you check on it, now I'm gonna give EC2 permissions for the group. So if you type EC2. So you will get Amazon EC2 full access. I'm just hitting on Amazon EC2 full access. And then I'm hitting on create group. Okay, that's it. So hit on developers group again. You can see how, what are the users added and you can see the permissions as well. Okay, so this is an easy way of doing it. Okay, now if I go to Google Chrome, Okay, am I in a Google Chrome? Okay, I'm in a Google Chrome. I'm just hitting on new incognito window and uh, I'm gonna log in uh, either with Sham or Srinivas or uh, Sagar. So let me try with Srinivas here. Okay, and uh, 2030 sign in. Let's see. Okay, mm, is it Srinivas? Okay, one moment. Uh, okay, yeah, so Srinivas is logged in and you can see. I can access EC2. See, there is no API error. Okay, but I cannot access, for example, any other service. So I'm just hitting S3. No. Why I cannot access S3? Because you are getting, you do not have permission. Because I gave only, if you see, I gave only Amazon EC2 full access. Say, for example, you want to give S3. So you just type S3 here. Okay uh you have to add permissions attach policies okay now i'm just looking for s3 <coughs> enter so amazon s3 full access i'm adding it to the group and then just hit on add permissions okay now you have two permissions okay in the developers group one is full access ec2 and the other one is s3 now let's go back here and then we will see in a google chrome s3 here i'm just refreshing it 
with Srinivas. Now you would see you will not get API error. Now you can see some buckets are available. So likewise, permissions are very important. So this is just a high level overview of it, but I will just, uh, you know, maybe next couple of videos, I'll show you what exactly the policy is, how to determine the policies and all those things. Okay. So this is an easy way of, you know, creating the group and you can add the members and you give the policies to the uh, developer group itself okay so it's 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 like a very convenient and efficient way that's what i would say yeah um i think that's all for this video okay i, I will release another video in the next couple of minutes thanks